Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. On this video, we are going to be taking a tour of the backyard, barns, and more facility. Now, I had to mute the original version of this video because originally when I came through and did the recording, the facility played a little bit of music, which the YouTube algorithm caught and therefore that original video was not able to be monetized so I'm gonna have to redo this video by taking out the original audio and then just doing what I'm doing now that way I can get paid at least a little bit of money for this video so again uh, this video is being recorded at the backyard barns and more which is located in Fort Wayne, Indiana and all the sheds and furniture that you guys are looking at every last piece of this furniture is Amish built the tiny the, the sheds and the, and the tiny homes are also Amish built and as you guys will see in the video, I mean, I do show some prices of some of these units. And towards the end of the video, and towards the end of the video, you will see one of these units that actually have, I mean, it's not completely finished, but it does have a few furnishings in it. And that particular unit is currently for sale for $23,000. Now many of these other units, not as far as the pricing goes on these units, the pricing on these units are all over the place. You can you can buy any you can buy one anywhere from a few thousand up to uh 30 some thousand dollars. I mean there's a there's a real large unit that is not on this video that you guys will see at a, on a later video. That unit is going to be like thirty some thousand dollars. However, the prices on these units all are are all are, are all over the place, and these people do a. I mean, there's a variety of options that this facility offers i mean you can buy a unit to, i mean you can buy a unit like this just the way you see it as is or you can elect to have things added to the unit such as uh furniture and, and, and other kind of appli and, and, and appliances. Now that big unit you're looking at right there, that big white one with the uh, with the two garage doors, the real big white one. I mean, that one will be on a separate video. So stay tuned for that video. And the in a minute here, you're gonna see some table sets. And those table sets are for sale for $3,200. And bear in mind, every piece of furniture that you look at is Amish built, to include all the sheds, they're Amish built. So if you buy one of these things, I mean, just bear in mind, you're not getting some cheap piece of crap that's gonna fall apart in a year or two. And, and, and granted, these may and, and I'm and, and honestly, given that these are Amish built, I'm almost willing to bet that many of these units are probably built better than some of your regular stick built houses are built anymore. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. And I would also bet that these units are definitely built better than many of your single and double wide trailers are built. So 
So these are not the type of units that you're going to be able to just pull up at some Lowe's grocery store. I mean, at some Lowe's uh, uh, store and purchase. These, these units are actually Amish built. Like when you go inside these units, you can tell that the wood is real. You don't have no compressed sawdust here. This wood you're looking at is 100% real wood. None of that compressed sawdust crap. Now, for those of you that live in Fort Wayne, or you're going to be moving to Fort Wayne, if you come to this facility, again, the place is called Backyard Barns and More. Or you can call them at 260-459-3469. Three four seven zero. That's their phone number. I mean, there's a couple of men that own this facility. They've had it in operation here in the Fort Wayne area for the last seven years. And if you buy one of these units, uh, one of these units will one of these units will include a full warranty. Plus, free delivery up to 100 miles within this location. So basically, if you live anywhere in the Northeast Indiana area, you can get your unit delivered for free of charge. So with the purchase, you get free delivery and you get a full warranty. Now, I forgot to ask how long the warranty lasts. That's something that you have to ask on your own. Oh, and I also believe that it also includes the setup. And they also have financing here, too. Now, I don't know what interest rates that they're going to charge for financing. I'm going to assume it probably depends on your credit. And I'm going to also assume that the interest on these units are going to be are going to be significantly higher compared to what you would pay if you were to buy a regular house. Given the fact that these are, you know, these are not permanent structures. So these are not going to be treated as a house. They're going to be treated as anything that's, that depreciates in value. And for those of you that are looking at this video and you're thinking, okay, well, this might be a decent housing alternative to the insanely high cost of housing. Now, I would say, depending on where you live, I would say for the most part, if you live somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, as I've said before, if you live probably an hour and a half or further from a metro area like basically somewhere out in the middle of nowhere out in the boonies you can probably go ahead and buy one of these and put it on whatever lot that you own and set it up however you feel fit to live out of and be good now most places even the boonies in order to consider in order to set up one of these and have it be your primary residence at the bare minimum, you're going to be required to install a septic system at the bare minimum. And I would, and, and no, and most of you might know this, but for those of you that don't, in I mean, in the, the majority of your city jurisdictions. The only way that you would be able to put up one of these and live out of it is if it was on the same lot as a primary structure, as a regular structure. So if you think you're going to come here to Fort Wayne or go to many of the neighboring cities and just buy a lot and then you're going to throw this on a lot and boom, you got a house for 30 for 20 some thousand dollars. 
no, that ain't how it works. It's not going to work. If you live anywhere, if you live in any city, don't, I mean, number one, you're not going to be able to use something like this as a permanent, I mean, you're not going to be able to use something like this as your primary address. It's not going to qualify because in many city jurisdictions, in, in many city jurisdictions, A, uh, Something like this would have to be on a permanent would have to be on a permanent foundation. B. There would have to be specific furnishings on the inside, such as prop, such as electric and plumbing, up to the area, up to the code of the county and or the city, and on a permanent foundation, and depending on the neighborhood in which you design in which you decide to live in the unit will also have to meet minimal square footage guidelines and then when it comes to insuring your property your property will have to meet minimal guidelines in order for most insurance companies to consider you for homeowners insurance because you don't want to buy one of these for twenty some thousand dollars and then put another maybe ten to twenty thousand dollars more on top of that into insulation and everything else. And then you go to insure it and then on insure it. And then if you have a fire, you lose every bit of your money. That would suck. So and, and the only way, I mean yeah, like I was saying before, the only way that you would that you would be able to take one of these units and live out of it. Is if you were to put it on a lot that already has a regular traditional home on it. And most likely that home would have to be habitable. Utilities on utilities that the house would have to be on. The property taxes would need to be caught would, would need to be up to date and all that good stuff. So in other words, if I mean, in other words, at least here in many parts of Indiana, if you're gonna move to Fort Wayne and you don't and you want to try to duck the housing prices, if you have if your parents live in Fort Wayne or you have some relative or some friend who lives here in Fort Wayne. Or for that matter, who lives in whatever city you're wanting to live in. If you were to buy one of these and put it on that lot, you can put it on that lot and live out of that. Now, would you be able to use that as your primary address? Uh, no. You would have to use whatever address the regular structure is on would be the address that you would be required to use. I mean, the unit in itself would not qualify for a address of its own, if I'm making any sense. And even with that, even with all that being said, I mean, there are certain states that even with a traditional house on the property, you I mean, yeah, you could buy one of these and put it on the property, but you would not be allowed to live in one of these units by law. Like there are certain counties in Colorado, for an example, to where, yeah, you can buy one of these and put it on the property of an existing regular traditional home. However, there are certain counties in Colorado that would not allow you to live in that shed. And if they caught you, then you're looking at hefty fines, even possible time in jail. So before you buy one of these, you're going to want to, I mean, number one, uh, number one, you're going to want to, I mean, number one, know why you're buying one. 
Number two, if you're buying one of these to live out of, if you're buying, if you're gonna buy one of these sheds to live out of, and then turn it into a house and live out of, and all that good stuff, I mean, you're gonna wanna do your due diligence and talk to the county in which you're gonna be living in, and you're gonna also wanna talk to the city in which you're gonna be living in to make sure that one of these is gonna be okay. And you're not going to be, and you'll, and you'll be within the compliance of the, of the housing laws in that, in that area. Now, now, th now this building right here, this is the log, this is a log cabin kind of sort of. And this is the tiny home that I was talking about before that if you want to, if you want to buy this particular unit, you know, what you see is what you get. And this unit, as it is, as you see it, they they currently got it for sale for twenty three thousand dollars. And as I said before, that twenty three thousand dollars will include free free delivery up to one hundred miles, and plus you'll have a full warranty, and it also includes setup. And many of these units also have finance, also have financing options for those that may not have cash money to buy one of these units. Now, this particular unit, as you all can see, it's you know it's got a kitchen area already built into it. You got your little refrigerator right by me here. You got your little sink, and if you have right, see right there, see you got your little. You got your little uh, sitting area, a table, and a second ago, you guys saw the bunk bed. So it also comes, I mean, this unit has a built-in bunk bed. That's, that's your little table. There's your bunk bed right there, kitchen. It also has a little loft. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, remember, if you buy one of these, do your due diligence, talk to the county, talk to the city, and understand why you're buying one before you buy one. That way you don't get, that way you don't go broke buying one, and then you can't live out of it. All right, folks, I'm going to, all right, folks, y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to holler at you later.